And it says, what? Oh, Palestine oh, they of mi- the Holy Land. They misspelled Israel. No, Palestine. <laughs> Palestine. Huh. Seorang pendeta sayap kanan dari Amerika Serikat yang bernama Rick Wiles, dia menegaskan bahwa tanah Palestina itu adalah milik sah orang Palestina. Untuk membuktikan pernyataan tersebut, pendeta Rick Wiles menunjukkan sebuah halaman di dalam kitab perjanjian lama yang menggambarkan peta Palestina dengan nama Tanah Suci Palestina. Dalam video tersebut, dia memegang sebuah alkitab. Alkitab yang dipegang dan ditunjukkan oleh Rick Wiles adalah Alkitab Perjanjian Lama yang dicetak pada tahun 1905. Pendeta senior asal Amerika tersebut menyebutkan bahwa tidak pernah ada yang namanya Israel yang tercantum dalam Alkitab Perjanjian Lama. Lebih lanjut, Rick bersaksi bahwa dalam Alkitab Perjanjian Lama tidak ada negara yang bernama Israel. Pada halaman ke-13, dia menunjukkan kepada kita sebuah peta dari tanah suci Palestina, bukan Israel. Dia juga berpendapat bahwa orang Palestina terdiri dari orang Islam, Kristen, dan Yahudi. Mereka bukanlah penganut ideologi agama tertentu, melainkan mereka adalah warga negara yang disebut dengan Palestina. Dia juga mengatakan bahwa Israel bukanlah sebuah negara, karena selama ini Israel selalu diartikan sebagai hamba Tuhan. Dengan begitu orang Yahudi pendatanglah yang mencoba mengusir orang-orang Palestina, bukan sebaliknya. Untuk lebih lengkapnya kita simak saja langsung video berikut ini. And before we get into it, I, I brought out to, to the studio, uh, you know, I've told you I collect old Christian books, and I just got this one in. I got a marker in here, so I just got this in a few days ago. Uh, now that's a serious Bible, okay? That's a bi- And you, you can do some serious Bible thumping with this one, all right? So, <laughs> you can thump them. Okay. Many of you uh, remember when Bibles were like this in homes and in, in churches. Uh, you know, every church had a Bible like this. You know, every Christian family had a, a Bible like this, and they put their their family genealogy, the weddings, Baptism. and baptisms, and burials. It was all put inside the Bible, and you passed it down generation to generation. This particular Bible was published in, in 1905. Now, the reason I brought it out is that I, I want to show a map that's in this Bible. Now, mind you, um, the Schofield Bible was not published until 1913. Right. And I have in my office an original 1913 Schofield, uh, which was the introduction of the Zionist Masonic heresies about a future state of Israel and separating the church from Israel and all that rapture stuff. That's where it came from. It was a Masonic Zionist heresy that was introduced into the American churches in 1913. This is a 1905 Bible. Pre-Schofield. Pre-Schofield with no Schofield notes in it. So you open it up and uh, this is on page 13. I mean, this thing's big. Uh, I want to show you. Here is here is a map of the Holy Land, and it says what? Oh, uh, Palestine. Oh, they of mi- the Holy Land. They misspelled Israel. No, Palestine. <laughs> Palestine. Huh? And all these Christian Zionists that tell me, Rick, there's never been a Palestine. All right. So here's a still. There it is. Let's That's zoom in and show you here. Yeah. So, yeah, you hear these people like John Hagee, there's never been a Palestine. Well, look at this Bible map from 1905. And, Pal- most, and, and most Bibles yes. from then had a map of Palestine. Palestine. And Palestine is in the Bible itself in the Old Testament. So we're showing you this just because I'm trying to break through the propaganda the confusion, the lies that the Zionists have implanted in millions of minds of Christians in America and told them there's never been a place called Palestine. But I have a map, Rick. So with that in mind, do you know who lived in Palestine? Uh, Palestinians? Palestinians. Hmm. And Palestinians were Jewish, Christian, and Muslim. And Muslim. Right. They, they weren't a particular faith. They were citizens of a particular country. Palestine. Palestine. They were all Palestinians. Yes. Jesus was a Palestinian. 
So Israel has never meant a political country. It's always meant the people of God. Yes. The called out ecclesia, the people of God. That's what Israel means. It's not a political country.